here to introduce you to a, a different Herschel Walker than you may have ever met before. You've met Herschel the football star on the college fields in the NFL, uh, USFL. So, uh, so we're here today to introduce 47-year-old uh, Herschel Walker, the MMA fighter, who, according to Dr. Alan Fields, who is the chief physician for the state of Florida, for their athletic commission, is, is 47 years old, going on 22. Dr. Fields conducted an extensive uh, physical exam and, and, and according to the doctor, the most extensive one that can be given to any person, athlete, uh, to test Herschel's ability, uh, heart, lungs, uh, athletic ability. And, uh, and at 47, Dr. Fields was blown away. I don't think Herschel Walker has bad knees. He was fighting almost until he was 50. He was fighting in strike force. A lot of oh, people yeah? don't know that. Yeah, Herschel Walker at 48, 49, whatever he was when he was fighting, looked like a 30-year-old perfect specimen of an yeah, athlete. Right. Ripped, full six pack, super jacked. He had a, a long martial arts background. Like he'd right. done martial arts before. I did not never know, know any of this. But he's got such a crazy disciplined work ethic that like his body is still in pristine shape. for the first time thanks to the debut of one of America's greatest athletes. Our Jen Brown shines a spotlight on Strike Force's newest mixed martial artist. Herschel, at 47 years old, what makes you think you can pull this off? Well, age has always been a number for me. I've always learned that if you got a job to do, you get out and do it. It doesn't matter what age you got to do, and no, no matter what age you are, and, and that's the way I am now. Now, we've seen all of the amazing things that you've accomplished throughout your lifetime, from Heisman Trophy winner to NFL superstar, Olympic bobsled team member to even Celebrity Apprentice. Is this the most challenging thing that you've done so far? There's no doubt it's the most challenging things I've done. And, and the reason why is this is mano to mano. This is stepping into a cage uh, saying who's the best man. And, uh, and I think it's the ultimate sport, the ultimate uh, athletic event, and that's the reason I wanted to be a part of it. A world-renowned athlete who tonight tests his skills in the MMA arena. Fighting out of San Jose, California, by way of Wrightsville, Georgia. Please welcome the Heisman Trophy winner, the famed NFL great and U.S. Olympian, introducing the one and only Herschel Walker. Gentlemen, we all know the rules. I want a good, clean fight. I will not tolerate anything less. Let's touch gloves, go back to your corner. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Fight! Frank, what do you think of Herschel Walker stepping into your cage at 47? To see an athlete of his caliber challenge himself at our game. Oh, he's got a jab, that's for sure. Failure is not an option. The words of Herschel Walker. You spend five minutes with Herschel Walker, there's going to be nothing but sunshine for you. He's an amazing human being. I, lo I love his focus, and look, oh, he's, he's taking... He's put some show into the into the mixed martial arts game. He's, Herschel's and yelling at him. Sweet by Walker, the kick, and Nutch goes in for the takedown, and look at this takedown defense by Herschel Walker. Well, it's a good position for Herschel, and he should stuff that head inside, so Nutch can't keep driving forward. Got the spot, look at this, going right behind, rotating beautifully as Walker, well, trying to stay a step ahead, Frank. Staying a step ahead and staying on top and balanced. Look at in this, position. and pound Herschel Walker! And again, you don't expect refined technique, but he is dropping the bombs on Nudge. Three, Final five seconds of the opening round, a round controlled by Herschel Walker. Not bad for the old dog, huh? Do you see potential in him? What have you seen in the first round? I, I see amazing potential. I mean, you can tell he's green. You can tell it's his first fight, but he's doing everything right. My thoughts are that he's showing well-roundedness in his first fight. Great striking, great wrestling, and good avoiding the submissions on the floor. That's the whole package. And a takedown by Walker in the cross-side position. Physically, Look at he's this. got the certain mindset. He's at the back now. He's right in the back, setting him up for perhaps a rear naked choke. And wouldn't that be a moment? Now, so I do not. Yeah, how do you say it? An arm triangle choke. For Herschel Walker, there was no way I would have ever thought in my career I'd be using those words in a sentence. And now, I mean, is there something here, though? He seems to be having a problem with the front. I mean, he could go for a rear naked choke here. I think he's just positioning himself. All right. Listen to this crowd screaming for a knee. He delivers. <laughs> he listens. Here's a guy 
again, who loves the sport of MMA, was a Taekwondo black belt on the Sunday mornings following football games in Georgia, where he won the Heisman Trophy in 1982. Oh, he's got him completely flattened out, and he just can't get his legs underneath his hips. He's trying to get him there and grapevine him, but that's why he can't get the Nuja's neck. Pinning that arm with that knee, if he does that, it's going to really be violent. And hammer fist from Walker, left hand, right hand, and there yeah, again, the he almost made the Olympics as a sprinter, was a member of the U.S. Olympic bobsledding team. Final 10 seconds, it has been all Herschel Walker. Hey, he lets out a nice scream as well, he's happy with himself. Third and final round. Well, Nudge has to be feeling the urgency by this point of losing this by points and of generally just getting beat up. Yet, I think he's just got the full mound, and this could spell big trouble for Nudge. This is where Walker needs to close the show. He may be feeling that this is all he can do. Walker continues with his shoulder as well, improvising. This is over. Herschel Walker has put away Greg Nudge, and for. If you see it, you believe it, yes, you too can achieve it. He is the winner by way of technical knockout in his professional debut, Herschel Walker. Herschel, was this anything like you expected it to be? Please describe the experience. Well, I'll tell you, the experience was exciting, but first, let me thank my opponent for giving me an opportunity to fight him because, you know, it's kind of tough to fight an old man. But... But I tell you what, there's so many people I got to thank, but it was, this was very tough. Virgil, you're a real student of the game, we know that. Uh, it's been about a year since you fought. Analyze for us, how would the Herschel Walker of one year ago do against Herschel Walker of today? Uh, beat him up. Uh, you know, I, I've learned a lot. You know, when I, when I fought a year ago, I was young, naive, and stupid. Uh, and I think now, going into a training camp where I had time just to just to study. I didn't go into uh, AKA to uh, fight again. I went to AKA just to train. And being there training with no pressure, I started picking up things that I was missing before. So the Herschel Walker uh, this coming Saturday will, will be a, a much better MMA fight. He is 
the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Herschel Walker. Strike force in San Jose alongside Herschel Walker, who defeated Scott Carson tonight in very impressive fashion in the very first round. Um, after you look so good out there tonight, you can't leave now, right? I mean, you have to come back at their time, possibly fight someone a little tougher, right? Well, there's no doubt. If I come back, I'm going to fight someone a little bit tougher. But, you know, my, my biggest goal right now is just to get in the gym and work. I, I just want to train. And like I said, I want to bring some recognition to this sport, maybe make a little bit more money for these guys. This is a great, great sport. This sport deserved to, to be, uh, you know, I think on Wall Street, it, it deserved that people to recognize these athletes for what they're doing, uh, you know, in the cage, in the octagon, and they're not getting it. Will you wait so long before fighting again? Hey, if I'm going to fight again, I won't. Uh, you know, I don't want to wait too long because I am getting old. But at the same time, the fighting again is not not my goal. So you can't say 100% right now that you'll be back. No, I can't. I, you know, and that's one thing I'm not going to say is 100%. But I will say 100% I'll be back at AKA.